And of course, it is chilly. You the can rest. see folks are doing their traditional Browns gear, which yeah. of course we know is sweatshirts with shorts. That is right. pretty much a year-round Face Browns paint wear. And a 1985 starter jacket. That's, I think yeah. that's what the one guy was wearing. It's awesome. <laughs> I was so old, I don't even know what era that was from. Right? Right? Hashtag throwback right there. That's that's it. It. You're yeah. exactly right. Well, I feel like fall is coming in right on time here. We got the jackets on, we got some sweaters on as well, and yeah. you know, hopefully the weather's gonna behave itself. I, I love it. Day. I opened up the windows this Isn't morning. I could not wait to air the house out. It's just it's so nice. Throw off everything. Yes. Feels like football. Pop it open. Yes. It, it does. We've kind of let the back door open, you know, let let all that cool air come. In once that frontal boundaries move through, it's a little bit hairy last night, of course, and we're still dealing with some lake showers across our far north and also eastern regions here. But this is the main event, guys, that we're talking about, at least on this Thursday evening, as the Steelers going to be facing off against our brownies here overnight tonight. We can expect temperatures to slide back in, and we're talking more about the 40s right now, but widespread 50s across the area right now. So cool and breezy. Here's what it looks like for the rest of the evening. So we're setting the stage as we make our way to the late afternoon and to the early evening. Again, hanging out in the 50s, and we'll slip back a little bit here as those breezy winds coming out of the north and west. Look at those lake showers right now. We got a lake temperature roughly about 71, 72 degrees. You get that cool air just riding right along it. Yeah, you start to stir things up a little bit. So what we're dealing with overall is going to be that Canadian fall chill that will set the stage as we make our way to Friday, Saturday, and also heading in on Sunday as we're talking about our next weather maker. Current temperatures, 50s right now, low 60s elsewhere. That strong northwest breeze to kind of come off a little bit. We'll take our foot off the gas a little bit. We're still going to be dealing with the north wind through the day for tomorrow. Temperatures down south, not going to be a major factor for us, but as we get a warm front moving back in, as we make our way through the weekend, that's when we got to start thinking off talking about our next weather maker. That's going to come in the form of another frontal boundary for Monday. So warm front uh, Saturday heading towards a frontal boundary, a cold front coming in on Sunday. Widespread shattered, uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms will be likely. But the Friday football forecast, not too bad though. That weekend outlook also looking pretty good. Here's your National Design Mark hour by hour forecast. Again, keeping those lake showers far north and also so east, they'll temper a little bit overnight tonight. You can see temperatures again slipping back here, perhaps even going back into the mid to upper 40s, waking up for tomorrow morning. But all in all, that fall like chill is going to feel absolutely amazing. Check this out. Here's that Union Home Mortgage 7 day outlook. Temperatures uh, rising up to near 70 degrees. You can see there by Sunday. We'll scale things back there by Monday and Tuesday with some lingering lake effect showers. You can see periodic showers Monday, even a few pops on Tuesday. But again, not too bad. Nice little shower by Wednesday, Thursday. I think we'll keep just a few spotty sprinkles around as well. Jan Betts. All right. Thanks so much, Jason. We'll check in with you again in just a little bit.